Hi friends, it's Danielle with Schoolhouse Rudd. Let's make a breast cancer awareness ribbon wreath. Grab a ribbon wreath form. You'll find this at Dollar Tree and you'll need to also grab one of their wreath hangers for over the door. You'll need a roll of mesh ribbon. You can use Dollar Tree's, but I got this at Michael's because it's a larger roll. You'll also need to grab some matching chenille stems or pipe cleaners. Go ahead and spray paint your wreath form. I'm gonna use soft pink. And I attached a chenille stem to the top of the wreath form so that we can use it to hang off of the wreath hanger later on. You will wanna start by cutting your chenille stems in half. We're gonna use them to create anchors to hold our ribbon bows onto the wreath form. So when you have them cut in half, you're going to want to attach them to the middle section of the wreath form. And you'll want to do it to where you have three pipe cleaners in each section. Okay, this is going to act as kind of a base for you to put your ribbon bows. And from there, you can decide where to go. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to work with this stuff. 10 out of 10, do not recommend it. I actually hate working with it, but the experience is worth it because it's going to turn out gorgeous. So I cut mine into strips. They are about six inches long by two inches wide, and I stacked three on top of each other. You're gonna fold it in half, almost like you're making the awareness ribbon, and then grab the top where the actual fold part is and you're gonna twist it. So I've demonstrated that and now I'm gonna do it for real. I tied mine twice, but you can only do once, it doesn't matter. I just felt like it was more secure because it was gonna be a big anchor piece. That's what it looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and secure that to the wreath form. Okay, now that that is attached, we are going to fluff it out. So remember, there were three pieces stacked in there. So go ahead and pull each one of the loops out. You'll have three in total. And basically, you just want to shape them and push them around so they don't actually fold back in on themselves and fluff it out like so. It actually looks really, really pretty. Here it is guys, isn't it beautiful? So there you have it. Just go ahead and fill in your little ribbon bows wherever you feel like the wreath form might still be showing or where you feel like there needs to be some thickness to your fluffing. And that is it. Here's how mine turned out. I love it.